Hi everyone, Amy Kennedy here, ceramic artist from Melbourne, Australia. Last week I was at a small party. I hadn't been to a party for so long, so it was really great. And there was another artist there, a really accomplished, a very, very accomplished person. And I had the opportunity to have a couple of conversations with him. And he was very nice and he knew I had an exhibition coming up. And he asked me, you know, Amy, how's your work going for the exhibition? And, you know, when someone asks you that question, <laughs> I don't know if you're like me, I sort of like crawl up on the inside, you know, especially when, when you're in the throes of still making. But I thought, you know, I'll be honest here. And I said, you know, I've got a hell of a lot to do. Um, and I've only got about a month to go. And he was just nodding and it didn't seem out of the usual for him. And um, he didn't seem surprised. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then he... Um, shared with me that he was recently in an exhibition and the day before the exhibition was installed he got his work out of the kiln and I was sort of looking at him and thinking oh that is a surprise for me to hear that from you I would never have thought that someone like him would work so close to the edge and then he shared with me he was he was very honest in this conversation I really appreciated it and then he shared with me that He's been working on a particular technique. Well, he has, he has many beautiful, gorgeous techniques and processes and ideas in his um, repertoire. But there's a particular technique that he's been having troubles with seemingly for decades. You know, sometimes it works really well and sometimes it um, has issues with it. But recently he did a firing where he mucked it up. He made a very big error but the end result was a really good one for this technique. It sort of has shown him a way forward with it. And we're talking about how it is often the case when we have these, make these mistakes, um, unexpected things happen, and they actually can point to something that we might not have seen. Uh, they show a light forward. And I've, I've had this so much in my work, and I'm sure you can relate to this too, uh, especially in the kiln firing, I'll make a huge fat mistake and it's sort of like it, it hits me over the head. It wakes me up to see there's this different way I can do this or something I have not even considered before. And often for me, I think that thing was sort of lurking in the back of my mind. I don't know. It's some sort of cosmic connection, I think. Um, and we were talking about this and I was sort of thinking in my head as I was talking to him, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're this really accomplished person, decades and decades. Your work is so beautiful. I would never have thought that you would work up into the edge, that you would still be having technical challenges, that you would have a certain level of doubt about your next body of work because he talked a little bit about that. And it was really reassuring to me that someone like that, you know, is still feeling that way because we often look at these people up close or from afar and we think they have got everything sorted. I want to be just like them. I want to be very supremely confident in everything that I do, know what's happening, be very prepared for exhibitions um, and just have it all together. But I, I really think that not many people are like that. And I think this is the beauty of the thing, the beauty of what we do is that having this doubt and uncertainty and technical challenges and, and, and spanners thrown into the works and Working right up into the edge is actually what can bring out the best in people, in some people. So um, I really appreciated the conversation and I wanted to record it here so I can remember it. You know, uh, remember this conversation, how I felt about it, because I often will forget conversations. But I also wanted to share it here for you because it, you might be also in this situation where you, you can't wait until that day when, you're, when you've got there, when it's done. You know, full stop, you're there. <laughs> but this conversation really showed to me we are never going to get there. It's never going to end. It's always evolving, always changing. There's never going to be a full stop. And uh, it's good to embrace that. Um, so, yeah, I hope this is useful for you. Um, it's very useful for me. Thank you for listening. And I will see you next week.